So in my weekly weather update video today, I have a little bit more than just a weather forecast for you. We're going to be talking about the anti-tourism sentiment that you may well have heard about over here in Mallorca and exactly how true that is. I've also got some airport news for you too, and also what to do if you come over here and you are sick. So let's start this video by talking about the anti-tourism sentiment that you may well have heard about. Well, I've certainly heard about it, if nothing else, because I've been getting comments on the channel and I've also been getting emails about the whole tourist go home, the anti-tourism sentiment that you may well get the impression that we have here in Mallorca. Now I got this email here from one of my viewers and I'm just going to read it out to you. He says, I'm a British expat working in the Middle East for over a decade and regularly visit Europe for summer holidays. Spain and the Spanish islands were always on the cards until recently. The xenophobic attitude reported in the press has put me off as all the graffiti in Spanish resorts telling us we are not welcome. As a family of a couple of teachers with kids, we are probably what they want coming over. But I don't want to visit a place that hates working class people and then blames them for the market they've created. In short, I've cancelled my holiday in Spain due to their attitude and we're heading to Turkey. Wow, okay, that's that's quite a big statement. Okay, so um, we have been getting quite a few comments about this. What is the reality? Are you welcome here in Mallorca? Well, the first thing I have to say is, of course you are, of course you're welcome. The mayor said it himself, the mayor of Calvia um, said himself a few weeks ago when I interviewed him, yes, Brits are welcome. Yes, holiday makers are welcome you are not unwelcome here on the island. And why is that? Well, for a start, a lot of the anti-tourism sentiment that you've been reading about has been taking place over in the Canary Islands. So over in Tenerife, over in Lanzarote. Now, these Canary Islands have a 12 month tourism season. So it runs year round. Tourists are there all year round. And it's not the case over here in the Balearics. We have at best a six month tourism season. It is being extended just slightly. We do get maybe a slightly longer tourism season, but it's nothing like you're going to see over in the Canary Islands. Now, these reports have been running far and wide in the national press and the international press that Spain is giving the impression and, and locals here are giving the impression that we don't want you to come here on holiday, but that is just not the case. Now, as a resident here for over 19 years now, I have to say that we've had these anti-tourism pro protests since I moved here, so since 2005. But as a resident here, and I live here, I live here on the west side of Parma, I can happily tell you that I've not seen any anti-tourism graffiti. Yes, we have graffiti on the buildings here. Yes, kids do graffiti the buildings. And well, if you want to see some really cool graffiti in Palma, come on over to the Mallorca Under the Sun Facebook group because admin Anne posts about her, her graffiti finds quite frequently. But until now, and I'm filming this in May 2024, we do not have any anti-tourism anti graffiti over the island yet. Will we get it as we go on into the summer? Quite possibly. We may well do. I'm not saying we won't get it, but these, this anti-tourism movement is a small minority of people. Now you're going to have heard me ranting about um, the, the pressures of tourism here on the island that we've had recently and we've experienced, such as too many hire cars on the road or cyclists on the pine walk over in Porto Poyenza. But this is really, this isn't really against anyone coming over here on holiday. It's about the whole infrastructure here in Mallorca, which really does need improving, considering, and it was reported in the press today, that we could be expecting over 20 million tourists to come over here this summer. And that's going to be an increase of over 300,000 upon last year, quite possibly. So what can you expect? Should you be cancelling your holiday? Well, no, you shouldn't because let's face it, 99.9% .9 of you are going to be coming here on holiday. You're going to have your holiday booked. You're going to come to the island. Yes, it will be busy at the airport. Yes, you, you may have a slight delay in traffic getting to your resort, but 99% of you are going to be having a great holiday. So please don't worry. Don't cancel and just go somewhere else because you think you're not welcome here. Because, well, like I've said, we've got quite a short tourism season here. The businesses welcome you. Our livelihoods depend upon tourism and a lot of the, the hitches that we've seen um, going on into the summer, such, such as a lack of sunbeds on beaches up in Porto Poyenza or the late arrival of sunbeds on the Calvia beaches around Palma Nova and Magalu, for example. This isn't caused by us. This isn't caused by the normal working people on the islands whose livelihoods depend upon tourism. 
tourism. This is all being decided by much higher authorities whose livelihoods probably are not dependent upon tourism. So all I can say is uh, bear with us on the bureaucracy here because, well, there's a lot of it. There's a lot here to navigate and I don't want that to put you off coming over here on holiday. I'm going to have more content about this going on into the summer to help you understand it as well. Remember what I said in my previous news about sensational headlines, about fake news as well. You're going to see so many more articles in the media being played out, whether it's the threat of an airport being collapsed by an anti-tourism movement as we go on into the summer, as, as, as well as seeing someone else saying, actually, it's not too bad, really. So you're going to see this whole big swings and roundabouts with articles. Trust me, it's not as bad as you think it is and it won't be as we go on into the summer. Not to say that we don't have our pressures here with tourism and not to say that we're not going to have an increase of tourism and not to say there aren't going to be protests this summer. So come over here, book your holiday, enjoy it and that is it. OK, so let's head on over to the airport and talk about what's going on at the airport for this week, the week beginning the 20th of May. Now, we are rapidly heading towards another half term holiday in the UK as well. We're also looking at possible um, other midterm breaks in Europe, too, or other public holidays, which means that the airport may well be a little bit busier if you're coming over here for a holiday. So just bear that in mind. I have heard of reports to, to baggage delays on some flights coming over and, of course, on the weekend, as well they're going to be busier from Friday through Sunday they're going to be at busier times at the airports as well so maybe if you are going to get delayed that's probably the time that you are going to get delayed but I can't see anything really to worry about however I do also have some good news for you now you may remember a few months ago I published a video all about how to navigate coming on holiday to Mallorca if you do have a disability or you do have reduced mobility if you haven't seen that video I'll post it below I'll post it at the end of this video too but I contacted the airport because I have been contacted by several viewers asking if the airport catered for those with, with invisible disabilities such as autism, particularly if you're travelling over here with kids, and also if the sunflower lanyard as well, which also indicates invisible disabilities, is, is recognised at the Spanish airports. So my first piece of news is, unfortunately, the sunflower lanyard is not recognised, which indicates invisible disabilities, but what is recognised is the Invisible Disabilities Badge. Now this is available directly from the IENA which is the airport's website. I'm going to drop a link to that below because if you have a child or if indeed yourself suffer from invisible disabilities and you need to get through what is a very very busy airport, what is through Palmer Airport as easily and, and as comfortably as possible, you can print off this badge, you can show this badge as well if you're going through security and you'll be helped into maybe like the, the least busy queue to help you through. You're also going to be helped through the airport as well by staff as well who recognise that you may need a little bit of additional help getting through the airport and na navigating your journey too. Now this badge doesn't entitle you to to um, disability access in the in the disability area that you normally would do if you you un, if you have mobility issues or if you're unable to walk, check out the terms and conditions of this badge. But it's going to be really good to have. So if you are travelling with anyone, you just need one person to print off that badge and take it with you as you're going through. If you're checking in and you're going through the airport as well, there are going to be airport staff to help you navigate your way through the airport a little bit more easily. And I'd like to know your feedback about this as well. If anyone has travelled with the invisible disabilities badge or what's your experience been let us know on the Facebook group let me know in comments below too Okay, also, I've seen some reports as well of holidaymakers coming over here and there being a sickness bug flying around now I haven't suffered from it. Nobody I know has suffered from it. I don't know where it's coming from. However, bear in mind if you're coming over, make sure you have your EHIC card, make sure you have your GHIC card. If you do need to go and see a doctor, I am going to drop a link to an article which um, I published at the end of last year. Actually, it's still relevant in 2024. I'll publish that. Um, I'll put a link to that below this video. Go and check that out. Make sure you have some tra health insurance, some travel insurance, and make sure you have that EHIC and GHIC card too. 
Okay, so let's move on onto the point of this video once again. It's turned into an issues video and then we eventually get around to the weather forecast. So what's the weather forecast going to be like for the week ahead? Well, you can see the sun's actually disappearing. I'm kind of like plunging into shade here. I'm, I'm filming this late on, on Monday afternoon, but you can see the fabulous blue skies behind me. The, the week did not start out well, which is why I couldn't film this morning because we had a huge buildup of clouds. It was very humid. We had a huge storm and we had some hail mixed into that as well but it is warming up the good news is is that it's warming up and we have highs of 25 degrees this week so ranging from between about 22 to 25 degrees as the high but in the evenings it's still going to be around 15 16 17 degrees still a little bit chilly make sure you bring a really big mix of clothes if you're coming over but will it rain again this week after the after the bad weather that we had this morning well looking at my iphone app it's saying we have wall-to-wall -wall sunshine this week which does contradict the weather forecast from amet which is the spanish meteorological agency which says that we do have a a 70 or 60 percent chance of a thunderstorm and a shower on Tuesday and Wednesday morning. So bring a brolly. Don't do as I've done today and go out without a brolly. Bring a brolly because the cloud is bubbling up um, all over the place and you could get a shower if you're out and about. Saying that though, the weather's really looking up now we're, we're going into the, we're approaching the latter half of may it's all good news we're coming into summer and that kind of chilly breeze that we've had over the past week it's starting to die down now it's not quite as as cool as it was okay everyone i hope this video has proved useful for you i've got plenty more content coming out this week don't forget if you have any holiday questions please go ahead and join the facebook group check that out go and post your question there check the contents of that group first before you post as well but go and join it got more information on the facebook page and of course as well there's more information on the website on mallorcaunderthesun.com okay everyone thanks very much for watching and i shall see you on the next video goodbye for now